Hello viewers and a very warm welcome to ZSA Environment, an initiative of Zoological Society of Assam for the benefit of students. In today's presentation, we shall be learning about grassland ecosystem. Learning outcomes. We shall be studying what is a grassland ecosystem, its structure, factors influencing the ecosystem, functional aspects, and ecological importance. A grassland ecosystem is basically an open terrestrial ecosystem. Grasslands are regions dominated by members of family Poaceae that is grasses, along with other herbs and small shrubs. And they constitute approximately 25% of the Earth's surface <coughs> among the older natural ecosystems. Grasslands are present in different parts of the world and they are known as different names. For example, they are called steppes in Europe and Asia, pampas in South America, bells in South Africa, and downs in Australia. There are two major factors which are instrumental in shaping the structure and function of a grassland ecosystem. And these include the abiotic factors, which comprise the non-living components and the biotic factors which comprise living components. One of the important abiotic factor is climate. The average temperature ranges from 20 degrees centigrade to 30 degrees centigrade in a grassland and they have a considerable good amount of rainfall with a precipitation of 500 to 900 per year, which is necessary to maintain the moisture content of a grassland. Another important factor is soil. A thick layer of humus soil is present on the top layer and it is largely produced by breakdown of root structures. They are also very rich in minerals due to recycling by organisms present in the soil. The biotic factors can be grouped into three types, producers, consumers and decomposers. The consumers can be further subdivided into primary consumers, secondary consumers, tertiary consumers, and in some cases, a quaternary consumer may also be present. The producers mainly comprise grasses of different species such as dicanthium, cynodon, desmodium, etc., herbs and shrubs. The primary consumers are mainly herbivores which feed on the grasses. Secondary consumers are carnivorous animals, small carnivores, which feed on the herbivorous animals. And tertiary consumers are carnivores, which feed on the secondary consumers. And if a quaternary consumer is present, then it will be a top carnivore, which will be feeding on the tertiary consumers. The decomposers are microbes, which are present in the soil, and feed on the dead organic matter of plants and animals and they recycle the minerals back to the soil. It includes fungi such as mucor, asparagus, etc., soil bacteria and actinomycetes. Coming to the functional aspect of a grassland ecosystem, the primary function is productivity. And here in this picture, we can see the example of a food chain present in such an ecosystem. In the producers, we can see a grasses, which and the primary consumer, that is an insect, feeds on. 
The primary consumer again serves as a food for the next level, that is the secondary consumer, and the secondary consumer again serves as food for the next level in the food chain, that is the tertiary consumer, where here in this picture we can see it's the snake. And finally, the tertiary consumer again serves as a food for the quaternary consumer, which is a hawk. Now, generally in a grassland ecosystem, several food chains are present, which are interconnected, representing a food web. And in this picture, we can see a very typical food web, which we can see in a grassland ecosystem. Another important function aspect is the energy flow and the nutrient cycle. The source of energy is the sun and from it the energy flows through the producers, consumers, decomposers and finally the nutrients are recycled into the inorganic nutrient pool in the soil. And we can see in this picture that every level of energy transfer heat energy is dissipated. Ecological importance of a grassland. A very primary role played by grassland is the soil formation. It also helps to control soil erosion. It helps in nutrient cycle due to the presence of the detritus food chain. It helps as a storage of atmospheric carbon in the form of biomass. And since it is the home to a large number of different grasses, herbs and shrubs and various animals, it is also a rich source of biodiversity. And such an ecosystem also is a good source of food for different types of animals. With this, we come to the end of today's presentation. Here I have given the suggested reading. For any query or feedback, please write to back to me at vifagosser at gmail.com. Thank you so much for your patient hearing.